story of the rise, fall, and possible redemption of controversial, all-girl, all-white, gangster rap group, WAP. WAP is Killing the Assassin, birth name, Catherine Vanderbilt, Trigger Finger, birth name, Tiffany Law, and Crackatastic, birth name, Candy Oppenheimer. All three grew up in wealthy families on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. They met at the elite Dalton School, which they attended together from kindergarten through high school graduation. Indeed, Krakatastic was so privileged that no one dared suggest she learn to walk, and so she remains confined to a wheelchair to this day. Krakatastic a cripple stuck up in this here chair. It's my stroll. Fed up with society labeling them privileged, sheltered, and white, the trio found refuge in gangster rap. Despite living in the poshest of Manhattan neighborhoods, WAP embraced thug life. As Tupac said, I hate to sound sleazy, but tease me. I don't want it if it's that easy. They officially formed a group when Trigger Finger's parents bought her a record label in 2001 as a college graduation present. The name WAP comes from the nickname that Republican Park Avenue residents use lovingly in reference to no-nonsense mayor Rudolph Giuliani. The group wanted to give a positive, feminist spin on the once derogatory term for Italians and decided WAP would be an acronym for Without Pimps. And right away, WAP wanted to let the public know they were a force to be reckoned with. In an effort to gain street credibility, WAP moved from the Upper East Side to the slightly less affluent Upper West Side. You see, we like to keep it hardcore. We're the man's worst enemy. We're young, we're sexy, and we don't give a fuck. They recorded their first album, All Hands on Dick, Gangsters of the Caribbean, in four hours. Cecilia Blackwell from Off the Hook magazine called their freshman effort a ridiculously angry exercise in poor taste. That's right, anger. Because anger leads to vengeance. And vengeance leads to justice. The album was selling poorly until Killer the Assassin was reportedly arrested and sent to jail. By the time of her release the following week, All Hands on Dick went gold, and the song That's Right Bitch, I'm Fucking Your Man was number 8 on the charts. When I was doing my bid up at Rikers, I started to realize how much my crew mean to me. Fame led each member to solo projects. A top New York modeling agency specializing in body parts saw Trigger Finger's hands in a WAP music video and signed her to a multi-million dollar contract. She used the money to fund Outlaws for Paws, a charity benefiting petite purebred dogs. A supposed convicted felon, Killer the Assassin was asked to do a commercial for a toothbrush company that wanted to appeal to a more urban audience. I'm a shank of yo no. Krakatastic headed for Hollywood and landed the starring role in the box office hit, Dimly Lit Hallways. I don't play with shit! She then stunned critics with her gut-wrenching performance as an alcoholic paraplegic in Wheels of Regret. But just as things were looking up for the three, tragedy struck. On the night of October 31st, Trigger Finger's two purebred pugs literally bit the hand that fed them. Although the little pug teeth did no serious damage, Trigger Finger's modeling career was over. Just two weeks later, Killer the Assassin faced her own trial when her stint in prison was called into question by vengeful former WAP manager, Slim Fatty. Well, I'm gonna tell all these suckers that the only time you said was a fat phone from Ritz Cracker doing yoga and sitting over for a season. You want a sip of this? Oh, show, motherfucker. This was enough to prompt the toothbrush company to take its commercial off-air and end its contract with Killer the Assassin. While Krakatastic remained in Hollywood, Trigger Finger and Killer the Assassin found solace in one another's company, spending most of their time in an uptown bakery that Killer the Assassin's parents bought for them. Killer the Assassin ate her sorrow, while Trigger Finger dulled her pain with prescription painkillers. To assuage both her friends' pain, Krakatastic pulled some strings to get them cast as her co-stars in the big-budget film, Whiskey Tango. Rise up, fool. We your dogs at now, son. Toss me at it, man. Then I on this bitch. Damn, she booty licious. The film became the biggest box office flop in history. 
many blame Trigger Fingers and Killer the Assassin's performances for the movie's failure. Krakatasik was subsequently blacklisted in Hollywood. In 2005, with nothing left to lose, the group decided to record their second album, A2 Hoochie. They recently launched their comeback with the release of their music video, My Other Ride Is Your Man, which we now present in its uncensored entirety. Guess who's back? Trigger finger, crackatastic, killer the assassin. Without pimps, laying it down once again, son. You know how we do.
will the gangster rap community welcome WAP back, or will the group go down in history as a joke? Only time will tell.